now available to our industry, and, and they're available now. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to uh, talk about the new CBT series, uh, the, especially the new CBT 1000 that's been added to the series. Uh, before I get started, my name is Chris Scanlon. If you, none of you have uh, attended one of the webinars so far, I'm a sales engineer at Capital Sales. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the questions box, or uh, I know how questions come about after the webinar ends. Definitely feel free to reach out to me or your uh, local or your account manager at Capital. So, without further ado, uh, let's talk about the CBT 1000 and uh, and the CBD series in general. Uh, you know, every once in a while, we have the privilege of introducing a new speaker that's a real game changer to the marketplace. Uh, the CBT 1000 is the next generation of adjustable coverage line array uh, in the CBD series, and what that means is that uh, if you guys are familiar with the CBT-1000, which is the highest output CBT speaker, uh, their main objective is creating the CBT-1000. Okay, We needed more DB level coming out. Uh, first, they wanted to increase the versatility and aiming coverage of the speaker uh, to be able to map that room to what you guys need. And to give it simplicity, okay, so to be able to cover more rooms with a single speaker. What that's given you is it's given you greater output, so 6 dB greater output, more aimability to map the coverage to the room geometry, so much more versatility, and a big part of it is it's given you deeper, stronger base. If you guys have used the CVT-50 uh, or the CVT-70, you know, there wasn't sometimes enough base, and what they've done is built a the cabinet to give you stronger base and if it's still not enough give you a LF box as well to go with it. So the CVT-70 or the CVT-1000 and the 1000E has 12 six and a half inch extruded LF drivers. Okay if you add these together that also gives you 24 extra high power tweeters and the power consumption 3,000 watts, a continuous 12,000 watt peak. Okay, this is a mean speaker that gives you a total of 130 dB. All right, uh, that is huge. That means it can deliver 105 dB of continuous average SPL at a distance of 60 feet. All right, the, the base response goes down to 38 hertz. So for a the size of this speaker, uh, the adjustable line array coverage, uh, it's not your standard speaker. This gives you and it's going to adjust to a wide range of applications. And how they're able to adjust now is individual top and bottom aiming in each cabinet. Okay, there's four options for pattern up angles which is the top part of your speaker, and four pattern down angles. Okay, that's a total of 16 different coverage combinations. So if you have a wide area in the front and a narrow area in the back because of the throw distance, you're able to adjust as needed. And also this doesn't just play on length of room or width of the room, but also the height of the speaker. Okay, this is gonna give you a huge customization to be able to match this speaker to a wide variety of different rooms versus your standard uh, conventional speaker where it only has one pattern. Another way of viewing it is to combine together with the same speaker. Notice that the angles in the upper half are fairly narrow and the to be able to throw a long distance to the room so the sound is condensed together to give it the highest possible level of uh, penetrating to the far areas of the room. The angles on the lower half are fairly wide, and because of that, the coverage is short throw of a room, which is spread out to cover the room more evenly. Uh, so what that shows is right here. So what we're looking at here is a if you took the room and cut it vertically, you can see the line with the numbers one, two, three, four, five on it. That's your seating area and the distance 
between the seats. The speaker itself is about 12 feet high, or yeah, about 12 feet high to the bottom of the room, or to the bottom of the cabinet. And if you notice, you're able to get an even dB level, an even sound level, across the whole seating spectrum. Okay, the seating area. For people that like to see the room a little differently, uh, this gives you the ability to put the speaker at the top of the ceiling and be able to cover that wide pattern at the close up and the narrow pattern in the back. Okay, so we can shift the horizontal coverage for this instead of just the vertical coverage like you were seeing before. So it's narrow at the top of the speaker and it's adjustable for the size of the room and wide in the front. Now it does, the dB drop is going to be going via line array, not towards your conventional, uh, conventional speaker. So much less dB loss for those long throws. Let's talk about the waveguide here. So it's a tapered horizontal waveguide. This is new from JBL. Okay, what this does is it gives you a nice horizontal coverage. It gives you very wide for the short throw ability and a narrower for long throw. Okay, this covers the front and the rear corners of the room very evenly. Okay, so what this does is you can cover a large room with a single speaker where before you may have two, three, four speakers to give it an even coverage to the room. And then if you're doing the two, three, four speakers, you now have to have a processor uh, with delays for each speaker, a lot of tuning when you can get all of that into a single box, less hardware, less setup, much easier to install, much more versatility. So what this means in the real world? Okay, I've been talking about conventional speakers. Here's a map of what comes out of a standard 12-inch two-way compression driver speaker. Okay very hot in the front, and if you notice, it's much quieter in the back of the room. So to even that out, you would need to have a second box with delays to even out that coverage, or three boxes. Now with the CVT-70 series, again, much better coverage than the conventional, but it doesn't have the drive feature to be able to get the very back corners evenly. Here's the CVT-1000. This covers the room evenly across, no matter where you're sitting, from a single speaker. So think about doing a theater, a gymnasium, be able to do something that, with a single speaker, cover this wide room and give it even coverage. This is, this is great stuff, Matt, guys. Uh, if you notice with the arrows here, it's even coverage on all four corners of the seating area. Let's talk about some applications. So the CVT-70, it does conform, perform great in, in uh, performance spaces. So live venues, um, medium rest uh, r and churches. So you're able to do, um, you know, where large speakers, a lot of times churches don't like to see speakers. So call-in speakers work amazing. And being able to do a column speaker and adjust where needed with the total of 16 options, adjustments, you can make these form to whatever room you have them built in. Uh, theme spaces, transit, so if you need a pattern control for transit, for public dress, music, anything, uh, the huge part about this is the pattern control. Okay, Being able to adjust the pattern control to any room makes you be able to suit this as a go-to speaker. Uh, we're able to even say medium clubs. Uh, also meeting rooms. Large meeting rooms, uh, ballrooms, being able to again adjust that coverage as needed. And maybe you can even, uh, if these are down closer to the floor, adjust them depending on what they're being, the room is being used for. Auditoriums are huge. Being able to put this, a center speaker or two on the sides and adjust the pattern for what you need is again definitely definitely powerful you know cinema screen speakers cinema surrounds outdoor speakers because they are IP55 rated so being able to put these on poles and adjust 
where you need this coverage, again, pattern control. Very few speakers have been able to adjust pattern control. Before we had to just deal with the horn pattern and point the speaker where needed, um, which makes it very limited. This we can take the speaker, install the speaker, and adjust the pattern control on site. Uh, the way they're adjusted is actually there's a panel on the side of the speaker that has two switch panels to adjust the high and low coverage for each top and bottom. This gives you really highly adjustable vertical coverage of the room. It gives you high output SPL, gives you deep strong bass, single speaker coverage for rooms. It gives you a super bass feature. Okay, um, so really, really powerful unit. Uh, there are multiple mounting options. Uh, there's uh, flyable options. There's uh, wall mount. There's angled options. So to be able to angle these speakers as needed. Um, being able to have the line array features gives you constant SPL across the frequency spectrum. It also gives you the ability to uh, make it even SPL coverage across all seating levels with the line array. Uh, very, very powerful unit. Uh, let's get into, I'm going to talk now, jump to uh, some system options, you know, because what, what do we pair with this? How can we build this? And give you some real life numbers. So let's first talk about a small gym. Um, or maybe it's a small auditorium, small ballroom, and we want to do a single standard CBT 1000 cap. They don't need a lot of bass, um, you know, just nice even coverage. We can do one CBT 1000. We can do a CDI 4000 amplifier, and we can, and then let's throw in a small four by one mixer. You know, your total cost of that whole project. If you notice, there's no digital processing in there because you don't need it because it's built all into the speaker. So you got a starting package of 2824 dealer cost. So now let's go to a medium gym. You want that extra LF, right? The extra low range. Uh, CBT 1000, again. Well, now we add the CBT 1000E, which is the LF extension box. CDI 6000 amplifier, and let's go with an 8x2 mixer, or we could even do the 4x1. You know, maybe they want more input. And then we can go to a large gym where it's two top CBT 1000s, two bottom LF boxes, a CDI 6000, and a 8x2 mixer. And again, that that's for a large, large application, and you're only looking at $7,100. Very powerful system. Um, it is an 8 ohm or 4 ohm load system, so it is not 70 volts at this time. Um, but since it is a line array, they're able to actually run it in the low end box is an 8 ohm load. You can still run this standard off of one 4 ohm channel. Uh, so one channel off of each amp powering a CBT-1000, CBT-1000E. Now, again, uh, to adjust this, and I'm going to go back a few slides here, just so we can get side coverage. Where are you going to be adjusting? Let's see here. Let's go right here. If you notice on the side of this panel, there's a uh, the top box here, and I'm going to move my mouse so you can kind of see it. That panel right there, actually can be unscrewed top and bottom and there's a switches for the top and the bottom to adjust your coverage. Uh, this is not adjusted via computer. It is your standard analog switches to flip up and down, um, but it is labeled as needed. So it's actually labeled as medium, narrow, tight, point, and then point, narrow, broad, and down fill. So you can adjust however that room is. There is all of these designs here that you're seeing on the CBT-1000. If you see that image, 
that's actually JBL has created a tool called the CBT calculator. So there, it takes the guesswork out of it. You can very easily put the size of your room, put the angle of seating. So if it's flat seating, if it's a uh, this is on a slant, um, and then the one through five are actually microphones in the software. So now you can actually say that this is where your seating level is and adjust and see how high your SPL is, uh, frequency ranges. You're going to then also be able to figure out how high your spe speaker needs to be, uh, what angle it needs to be. It takes the guesswork out of it. It's a very easy tool to use. Uh, there is, There are uh, webinars on how to, YouTube videos, uh, training videos on how to uh, use the CBT calculator. Very powerful tool takes the guesswork out of it, and being able to save those and go to your customer and say, look, this is what I'm offering. This will fix your issue because I can show you right here. That right there helps you get the sale. It's also a sales tool. So it's an engineering tool, it's an install tool, and it's a sales tool. And it's extremely easy to use. Um, now, this is a standalone software. Um, I don't know. Uh, some of you guys are using Ease. Um, I'm not. I have to see if there is uh, GLL files uh, for to be able to import into Ease. Um, I haven't checked that. Uh, JBL does a very good job at providing GLL files for Ease. I'm sure that they are in there. I just uh, I need to check to make sure. Uh, the CBT1000 tool is extremely easy to get that print off and be able to hand to the installer, here, here's your measurements, here's placement, and this is now going to show your customer as well, here's your coverage. So I know we're a little shorter. I'm three minutes uh, from 920. I'm making up for the last few webinars we've done uh, that have ran a little longer here. Um, and again, this is a CB2 1000. The CBT 70 is just a smaller version, and they also have a CBT 50 uh, as well. Um, now, before I get into questions and get into the um, the specials for today, uh, I am going to stop the recording here real quick, so I can then not.